Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to some more Spyro the Ignited Trinity. Today we're going to move on to Rico's Rage. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. This is my favorite game in the trilogy. Probably because it was the first game in the trilogy I played, as I explained before. You start out with this one for some reason. Probably. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Yeah. Last one, there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! that jerk that was ripto and we have to get rid of him he's causing all sorts of trouble around here but i haven't got time to explain here take this magic guide to avalar it'll help you begin to understand our worlds right now i have to follow ripto and see what he's up to i'll meet you in summer forest okay hey wait a minute <sighs> how do we get ourselves into these messes pal Anywho. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Eh, uh, no. That react. At least they kept it consistent. Characters reacting to you flaming or charging them didn't happen until the third game. Yeah, this... The remaster of this game is pretty good. So, even when I first played it, I was pretty disappointed that they didn't, you know, bring back all the original voice actors. I mean, it's kind of noticeable with Alora, you can tell that it's, you know, not Melissa Disney doing the voice, but it is so noticeable with Hunter and Ripto, because they were played by the same voice actor in the original game. It's like, really, you guys couldn't, and I don't remember the name of 
voice actor that plays those characters, but it's like, really? You couldn't have asked him to come back and reprise his roles? Because um, I've seen him more recently. Um, there's a fellow on YouTube by the name of Mr. F01. He did a kind of documentary on the making of and all the problems with the development of uh, Enter the Dragonfly. And he interviewed the voice actor Hi, that Hello. did. Hi, Shut up. That's that. I'm talking here. Don't you interrupt me, yeah. rude little fairy. Anyway, he interviewed the voice actor. Still can do both voices, so, I mean, obviously. Anyways. And of course, I'm still a little bit iffy on the Hunter's redesign. I know it's less uh, nightmare inducing than the original design, but still, I mean, there's something nostalgic hey, about it. You're a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. How about no? And when I first played, when I first started up this particular game, I was not a big fan of Alora's design. I mean, yeah, she looks like a fawn now, but I grew up with the original, so sue me. Now, here's a fun fact for you. Uh, did you know that the original sketch for Laura, she was ah, a centaur, not a fawn? You must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost You're you a hundred of your gems to You're just as as always. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. That Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. So, Spyro, can you get out of here, Zoe? I don't want to listen to you tell me how to play a game. I've been playing games for almost 30 years now. I know how to play. The original sketches for Laura. She was a fa she was a centaur, not a fawn. You can tell because you can actually see the original design sketches online, and you can see that they erased the back two legs. The reason they did that is well, they figured it'd be a lot easier to animate two legs as opposed to four. But I guess that's probably also the reason why it looks like Laura has a horse tail in that game, although I always kind of thought it looked like a fox tail, but anyways. Yes, she's a fawn, I know. Fawns have goat tails because they're part goat. I get it. But again, I grew up with the original. Fight me on it. Anyways. I'm done rambling for now. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Or you could, you know, do it yourself and try not to suck so much. See, watch this. Nice shooting. Amazing. Follow me to the next lizard. No, I don't think I will. Oh, come on, Sparks. You can't get that? I'm fine. Be that way. You jerk. <laughs> you can jump onto that ledge, but you couldn't, you know, jump up. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. looking so pleased with yourself. I'm the one doing all the work here. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. I said it before, I'll say it again. Would it have killed them to, you know, actually, at least for the PS4 version, say the names of the actual buttons? 
This is, this is, this is the series of systems that it started out on, after all. It's this legacy content here. I know, I get pretty salty about this. Anime seem mundane and pointless, but, you know. People get passionate about stuff, even if it seems mundane and pointless. Perhaps at some point in the future I should play the original versions on my channel. Of course, I'll have to get uh, tech in order to capture the gameplay, but, you know, I wouldn't mind. I am quite nostalgic for not only for the original games, but for a lot of the sound design of this game. It doesn't seem right. These lizards taunting me and not saying anything. And they made the weirdest noises in the original game. I always used to imagine they were like an annoying version of Elmo that I was trying to. I was fed up with them trying to get rid of. This just doesn't quite do it justice. Okay. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Right then. I don't want to talk to you yet. I don't want to talk to you, Smelly. and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. I don't feel like it. Think of all my all the issues that I take with uh Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. I think of all the issues that I have with um a lot of quote unquote remasters of old games is uh the changes to the original sound design. I mean, that is a big part of what makes some of these games so iconic. Is the sounds from, like, doing various things in the games. It sticks. It really just sticks with you. Or at least it does for me. I don't know if it sticks with any of you. But it does me. And that's what's important, right? Me. As opposed to you. I'm kidding, I'm not that much of a narcissist. Only slightly, depending on the day. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar.
Alright. to introduce ourselves before my name is Alora. Uh, hi I'm Spyro what are you some kind of goat I'm a fawn you dork oh sorry did you meet the gem cutters in glimmer yeah they gave me a souvenir too they called it a talisman they gave you a talisman what is it special I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me well there are 14 talismans in Avalar and they are all magical if you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. <laughs> Being no fallen told. You can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. You know, the general theme throughout all of these games in the trilogy seems to be that everybody relies on, you know, the kid to do all the work for them. Just saying, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit weird. I mean, uh, you imagine you're in a life or death situation and, uh, instead of trying to take care of it yourself, you, uh, or in some kid that you just barely met in order to help take care of it for you. Not exactly uh, an ideal uh, Spyro, situation. This is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Maybe I was so harsh, initially harsh on the way they designed the lore, and, you know, not voice actress that plays her is probably because she was probably my favorite side character from this game growing up. So. Yeah, I feel like I was. When it comes to the characters you're most nostalgic for, you tend to be a lot more harsh. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Thanks. Didn't know how to do that before. What would I do without you? Mister, states the obvious. I mean, I've only been gliding for, like, the past... Two weeks, I want to say. I mean, there was a whole... I ranted and raved a whole heck of a lot about the ju the gliding and the supercharge puzzles in the last game. Thanks for telling me! How to do these simple things! Yeah, don't want to talk to you. The dragonfly I know what he's for. Okay, I can probably tone it back a little bit. I don't need to pretend to be as upset Hi, Spyro. as, you look like you're as I am agile. right now. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. 
Oh, jumping. What does he think of next? Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Jumping and gliding? Oh. Oh. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Crazy dog. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. I don't really think there are many gliding puzzles in this game, and it's probably because the hover mechanic makes it quite a bit easier. See? I know how to do things! Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have I'm not to completely this incompetent. Got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Forward on the left stick. Move forward. <laughs> Who would have thought? I don't know what that was. Wow, I'm just in kind of a weird mood athlete. today, I guess. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. I guess I'm kind of keenly noticing all the differences between the remaster and the originals because I think I said um, in one of my previous videos that I played through all of them in, I want to say, October. And that was the first time that I'd played Year of the Dragon since I was like eight. Because we gave away our copy of Year of the Dragon to one of our cousins a long Sorry, time ago. Spyro. But I'd love to teach you it's, how so, to swim it's way more noticeable now. I'd love to take your treasure. Had I, as opposed to had I not played it recently. Oh, I see. Ah. Good thing I was prepared for this. Another thing that really stands unique about this game is the intro and outro animatics in this game. I don't know why they didn't bring it back for the third game. But these were awesome. I never understood this part as a kid. But, you know, now that I am... Not a child. I get it. Yeah, it ain't that easy. A nice try, though. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Well, that'll learn you to make things out of wood. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Listen carefully. Listen real carefully. I'm, I'm going to torture Banner. That's all I'm going to do. Hey, pal, you need some help? Too bad! I ain't in a helping mood today. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this sorcery? Your marshmallow is on fire. It isn't turning all black and crunchy. Tell me the secret of your marshmallow techniques. Tell me. Tell me now! Fine, don't tell me. I don't know what I'm doing today. Well, the foreman man did say that they had stolen all their food. 
I mean, you wouldn't think that stealing people's food would entail, you know, actually attaching it to the things you're using as a weapon, but what the heck do I know? Maybe it's a really effective way of uh, beating Those people up. Shields are making enemies invulnerable. That's great. I don't care. Stop talking. I know what I should call this episode. I should call it Stop Talking, Zoe. need you to hold my hand. You kind of like the way that the first game handled it. It gave you little tutorials by, you know, freeing dragons. It was real simple stuff. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. I don't necessarily think I'd be very good working here, unless of course you wanted somebody to do some wood burning. Well, that's one way to kill some brain cells. Not entirely sure what you're hoping to accomplish, though. It's got to take care of those pesky memories. Now I can forget my failure of not being able to create a girlfriend out of wood. missing something here it's for some particular reason why you all insist on beating yourself senseless with a hammer heck maybe that might explain why all these idols are alive maybe you're all just delusional you beat yourselves over the head with a hammer so many times that None of this is real. I'm not actually here. You're all just suffering from a minor case of severe brain damage. This was one of the, what I found to be when I was a kid, one of the most difficult side missions in the game. You know, when you're four years old and trying to figure out how to use a controller, you know, it's not always easy to run straight. Fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Nah. I think I'll just leave you as is. 
Besides, this big purple idol seems like he's having a lot of fun. Or maybe I can take care of it myself. Or maybe not. Okay. We'll try it your way then. As right, like these gems. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Yeah, I'm probably going to be saying stuff like this a lot throughout this game, but I prefer the original, you know, the way it was originally done. I mean, when the idol blew up, it literally blew into pieces. It didn't just disintegrate into thin air. A lot less dramatic that way. And I am nothing if not dramatic. What were you guys expecting? He had a soggy weenie. I wouldn't like a soggy weenie. You dry it out and you roast it. That's what you do with your weenies! Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit... I don't know. I'm just... Feeling a little bit bored. Energized day. Well, that's, uh, that's it for today. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody who decided to watch this video for watching. I still have no idea how any of you were finding my dinky little channel in the backwaters of YouTube. I am very obscure. And that's, you know... Yeah. Uh... But I appreciate it nonetheless. I hope you all have a fantabulorific day. And I will see all of you, metaphorically, not physically, in the next video. Bye-bye! Well,